Steve Hildebrand is selling Josiah's Coffee House, Cafe, and Bakery. In a Facebook post this evening, he mentioned that his partner is nearing retirement and his own desire to spend more time working on their Promising Futures Fund, which helps kids in the Sioux Falls School District with the highest rates of poverty. Hildebrand says that the downtown cafe will change ownership on the first of the year. The new owners are not planning on making any big changes. Well, the world's first electric fire truck is making its first American tour across the West Coast this month. And as we show you in tonight's Your Money Matters, the innovation in fire truck manufacturing has its roots right here in South Dakota. We're a large employer in South Dakota. Uh, we have nearly uh, 350 employees in the greater um, Lyons area. Just a few minutes north of Sioux Falls, hundreds of people work to make fire trucks that go all over the world. When people sometimes think of South Dakota, they may not think about electric vehicles or, or the latest and greatest in innovation and technology, but um, in, in the greater Sioux Falls area, we have one of the most innovative, high-tech companies um, in the world producing vehicles. This is the global company's latest innovation, a fully electric fire truck. So we really had to start with a white piece of paper so that we could really understand how we could provide the solutions and solve the problems. And the first challenge was creating space for the batteries and designing an extender to serve at lengthy fire scenes. And then it'll recharge the batteries again. So you got eight hours to just keep going. It also solves a big problem for firefighters. But one of the things that, that a lot of people aren't aware is that carcinogens and cancer for firefighters is a huge issue. Uh, we're also working on clean cabs. Uh, we've developed a new air filtra filtration system with the University of Minnesota, really trying to eliminate the VOCs inside the truck. It's a solution that's already resonating with fire departments all over the world. Borders now in Oslo, Nor Norway, uh, Berlin, Germany, uh, Dubai in the UAE. Um, and we have now uh, several in uh, California, that uh, a couple that we have just confirmed. The emissions on diesels are carcinogens, and so that's not good for the environment, it's not good for the health and safety of our personnel, and it certainly isn't good for the public to breathe. Uh, right now, Rosenbauer's electric fire trucks are being built in Austria, but as the demand increases in the U.S., the company plans to start manufacturing them here as well. The electric truck's U.S. tour continues along the West Coast this month, but it will make a stop in Sioux Falls this April.